Hey everyone, and welcome to our instructional video on why I have an elevation adjustment at my zero range. This profile has a 100 yard zero, so let's go over why we might see something here at our zero range. The first reason is going to be wind conditions. So if I have wind conditions going on, you'll see I now have an elevation adjustment despite being at my zero range. This is normal, this is working correctly. By the way, uh, something to note, if I'm impacting perfectly zero under these conditions, I actually have a bias in my scope and I don't have a true zero. So when you go to zero your rifle, go ahead and input those wind conditions. Look at what it says for your elevation adjustment. This is where I should be impacting at my zero range. So I want to take this out of my scope or make sure this is where I'm actually impacting to have a true zero. If I hit dead center under these conditions, my zero is actually biased for this wind. In. All right, so let's go ahead and take that out and you'll see it'll return back to zero. Another reason is because we have inclination. So if I input 30 degrees inclination, you can see I have an elevation adjustment here. So uh, just make sure that you pay attention to these inputs here and that you don't have any inclination if you want to see no adjustment at your zero range. Now, another thing that can happen is because we've switched units. So if I switch from yards to meters, you're, and then I go, oh, I'm at 100 meters, then what you're going to find is you can see I have an elevation adjustment. Well, that's because I switched from yards to meters, but I actually still have a 100 yard zero, and 100 meters is not 100 yards. All right, so let's go ahead and keep going through here. We're gonna go into the rifle profile now and go over reasons why you might see an elevation adjustment at your zero range due to profile conditions. One of them is gonna be sight in conditions. So if I use sight in conditions, I'll have an adjustment at my zero range. Sight in conditions are only intended for long range zeros, 300 yard center fire zeros, 100 plus yard rim fire zeros. If you zero at 100 yards for center fire, 50 yards for rim fire, 36 yards for 338 or 300 blackout, stuff like that. You should not be using sight in conditions. It's only for long range zeros. Otherwise, leave these blank and empty. Another reason could be for zero height and zero offset. This will affect your zero. And if you have done a calibration, whether that's the muzzle velocity temperature table, this tool, the drop scale factor table, or you have an input into the custom drag factor. So those three items can also affect your zero range. So hopefully this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe to these videos as it helps us disseminate this information out to all of the users. Thank you and have a good day.